Hello, and welcome to a Digital Media Academy how-to, an introduction into Valve's Source Filmmaker. My name is Philip Reeves, and I'm one of the lead instructors here at Digital Media Academy. In this Source Filmmaker how-to, we'll focus on multiple actors and editing our scene. Here are the basic system requirements needed to run Source Filmmaker. To download your copy of Source Filmmaker for free, visit www.sourcefilmmaker.com. Now let's get started. In the last tutorial, we went over how to bring in an actor using game mode, recording data, and explain the timeline controls. Now it's time to expand on our scene by bringing in another actor and begin the editing process. All right, by hitting the F11 key again, we can re-enter game mode. And using the WASD controls, the actor can be moved around. Now, I want my second actor to look differently from the first. And by hitting the period key, a menu with doors pops up. Because we already have a blue character, let's click on the red door. And you'll see a list of characters pops up. I'm gonna choose a medic. All right, so now that we're in game mode, there's one more control I didn't go over in the previous tutorial, and that's using the scroll wheel to change the type of item the character is holding. If you remember in the last how-to, we want to have the second actor looking at the first actor on the log, back by the tires here. Don't worry about the old actor being on the floor right there. He'll disappear and he won't get caught in the recording. Once you position the actor, hit the F11 key to exit game mode. Remember, we won't see the medic yet. That's because we don't have any recorded data. So why don't we record some data? Hit the record button. You'll hear a series of four beeps, the fourth meaning action. Let the other actor's animation play out. Plus a little bit more just for safe measure. And when finished, Hit escape. We can now see both the actors. Now that we have everything set up, let's begin editing our scene. Switching back to camera one, we have the first camera angle situated, but in order to show the entire scene, we need to have more than just one angle. But first, I want to cut some of the bat swinging out before he performs his action. It's just wasted space right now. Dragging the playhead, I'm going to figure out about how much I want to cut out. Leave the playhead in that location and hit the B key. This splits up the shots. We now have shot one and shot two. Select shot one, which is just the actor swinging his bat and hit the delete key to get rid of it. And pay attention to what happened over here. In our timeline, we have a film strip. This serves as in and out points. The in point is where the scene starts. The out point is where the scene ends. Dragging the playhead to the black area here, the viewer becomes black with empty data. So to change the out point, just drag the mouse over here until the cursor changes. Click and drag to the end of the shot. And that's it. We set our out point. Just to be organized, I'm going to hit the F key to center our shots. All right, the first camera angle is set and ready. Let's create the others. Grab the playhead and drag it to the location you want a camera cut. Hit the B key to split up the shots. Select shot three. Click on the camera's arrow over here. Change scene camera, new camera. Notice that camera two is now selected. Make sure you have the proper camera selected. We don't want to accidentally displace camera one. For the second angle, I'm going to place it above the actor looking down on him. Never feel that you're stuck with a certain camera angle. At any point throughout your movie making process in Source Filmmaker, you can always change camera position, which I think is really cool because when you're filming a movie traditionally, once you film a shot, you are stuck with that angle. But in Source Filmmaker, you're always free to change it up. I'd right, say so that's a good position for now. Time to move on to the next camera cut. I take the playhead to find the next position we want to cut to. Once found, hit the B key to split up the shots. Make sure the new shot is selected. 
camera arrow over here, change scene camera, new camera, make sure camera three is selected. Now I'm going to get to a position where his fingers point at the camera as he swings his arm down. There, that's a good spot. Except I don't want him perfectly in the middle of the shot. That's usually boring framing. Instead, I'll move him to the side a bit, or I'll move the camera to the side a bit. All right, notice how I select the shot and then create the camera. That's because we are parenting the camera to the shot. If you ever lose that parenting, just select the shot, then select the proper camera to go along with it. Always make sure you're moving the correct camera in the correct shot, or else things will get really messy. All right, to finish up our scene, I'm going to continue following this exact same process. So to save some time, I'm going to jump ahead to what the final scene will look like. And here it is. Now, as we watch our final scene, let's do a quick recap. The work camera is like a director, seeing everything in the scene. If we want to cut to a new camera, first cut the shot up in the timeline by moving the playhead to a specific location and hitting the B key. Then, with the new shot selected, we create a new camera parenting it to the shot. Source Filmmaker is an incredibly robust program that redefines the process in which you can create 3D movies. What I've shown you so far is just the beginning. Going deeper into the program, you'll find a robust lip sync, an intuitive character animation interface, and so much more. And also, if you're interested in learning more about Source Filmmaker, check out the hands-on course Digital Media Academy is offering, in which you'll learn all there is about Source Filmmaker and create your very own short film. To learn more, visit www.digitalmediaacademy.org. Thank you.